All right, Alice, it's um, Big L00 here, and today I'm doing my, my review and showing off my collection of Jefferson Nichols, Buffalo Nichols, and also some Liberty V Nichols. I'm also going to show you some error, two error Jefferson Nichols that I own, and I'm also going to show you my proof coin I have there too. So, believe it or not, um, I when I did my half dollar review, um, I believe it or not missed something out of it. I But before we um, start the Nichols here... Um, I do have something to show you guys. This is actually a half dollar, but however, this is actually a, cor a commemorative 1982 250th birthday of George Washington on circulated never been opened. This is a 1982 D here So yes, I actually forgot to mention this. So yeah, I got this as a Christmas gift in 2014 so This is what I forgot to show you guys Okay, now that we're done, I'm actually going to show you my Liberty V nickels. So today I am, I I I own Buffalo nickels, and also I also own a lot of Jefferson nickels. I also own a coin book, and also some pretty nice, cool finds like a Bruin on circulated nickel. But today we're going to review Jefferson. Um, now today we're going to do some Liberty V nickels. So yes, we got some Liberty V nickels. So the first one. Now these are two are on coin flaps. Now the first one I have here. Is believer this is a 1902 Liberty V nickel, and I'm trying to look at the date on this one. I think it says 1903. So now we're gonna do my um, Liberty V nickels right here. The first one I own is a now the first one I have here is a 1911. Now, the reason why I'm putting them up there is because I have a lot of buffalo nickels, so believe it or not, let's actually move this up just for the V nickels itself. The next one I own is a 1902. Yes, this one's for this one is not from the box here. The next one I own is a 1900. Yeah, this one's this one's uh, this one I have the this one I I can grade A G N R two. Looks. And R2. So yeah, it's not in really good shape. Between NR2 to, to AG3. So this is a 1905. The next one I own is a 1908. The next one I own is a 1911. Now I, now the very next one I have is a 1904. Yes, the year of the New York City subway. That's the year it is right there. Yes, guys, I am interested in that shit too. But no, 1906. And last but not least, the the last Liberty vehicle I own is a 1907. All right, so now we're done with the the V nickels. Now we're gonna go up to. I actually have a lot of buffalo nickels, but a lot of them are in flaps, like the V nickels. That will be in a different video. That will be in another time. But now we're gonna move the friggin' iPad to its next destination, and it's the buffalo nickels. Shit. Now stay tuned for part two as we take a look of, at the buffalo nickels. So stay tuned just for part two. All right, so this is part two. So now today we're gonna be doing a, the buffalo nickels. I have a whole bunch of buffalo nickels, so I'm probably gonna split this into two or even three parts. Now the very first buffalo nickel I own is a 1929 Philadelphia strike. Very nice. Let's move this nickel up here. I also own some three awesome nickels, but those will be reviewed at the last second. These here, this is a 1927. Let's see what mint mark. Mint mark. Nope. No mint mark. Okay, good. It has no mint mark. Philadelphia strike. Awesome. I have a 1921. Philadelphia strike. Very nice. Like it. A lot. Now, the very next buffalo nickel I own is a 1935. Mint mark. 
No mint mark. Philadelphia strike. Okay, so, so yes, we do own a, I, I own a lot of them. I even, I own probably like over six dollars worth of Buffalo nickels. It's very ridiculous. I have a nineteen twenty-seven. Okay, we have do have a mint mark here. Philadelphia strike. Okay, that's very very good. Okay, the next Buffalo nickel I own is a. Hmm, 1925, I would have to say. I think this is a 1923. So, yes, guys, there's family in the background. No many, na no names are going to be mentioned, so... I don't want to get in trouble. So, we have, I think this, this is a 1923, I'm guessing. And then there's a mint mark, no mint mark, so... I need to get water before I start part three, I'm so fucking thirsty, alright. Now, the next one I have is a 19... Oh, sweet, a 1929. So, yes, um... This has a Denver mint mark. This camera needs to learn how to focus. Like, seriously, I hate cameras like this. Okay, here, um, here, um... Alright. It'll, sh it'll, it'll do. It'll do it eventually. So, I have a 1937. Yeah. Now the next one I have here is a Philadelphia strike. So very, very nice. Now look, the camera's finally pointing at it. It's really nice. I think they're showing right here. I'm guessing. So next nickel I have is a 1929 Philadelphia strike. I actually looked at the obvious. And the reverse before I showed it, so this is 1929 Philadelphia Strike. Now, next coin here is a 1929 Philadelphia Strike. Here's the, um... Now, the next, now the next Buffalo Nickel I own is a 1924 Philadelphia Strike. Okay, next Buffalo Nickel I own is a 1927 Philadelphia Strike. The next Buffalo Nickel I own is a 1928 Philadelphia Strike. Very nice. Like it. Next coin I own is a 1936 Denver Mint. Okay, so we're we're getting in there. We're, we're not even halfway through yet. It's pretty ridiculous. Nineteen twenty four Philadelphia strike. This is the same one I actually showed. Nineteen twenty seven Philadelphia strike. We're gonna do this a little bit quick. All right. So yeah, I had there was a little break. So now the next one I have is a nineteen thirty seven Philadelphia minute coin here. Very very good. Now you see here. That the reason I like I I actually love to line up nickels like this like really it looks very awesome. Those are the V those are the V nickels that we did. Um, so now the next one I have is a oh god no dater, but I actually did I actually do know the mint mark on this. This is a um, 1919 S actually because. If I take a look at the right at the right angle, it's actually a 1919s. So, so yes, guys, this is a no dater, but this is a 1919s because I do remember seeing the day before it wore off. So, lucky me, I actually remember very well. Now, the next one I have is a 1924 Philadelphia minted coin. Kind of like this a lot. Looks very awesome. Now, next one I have is a 1928. Oh shit! All right, so. 1928 Philadelphia Strike. Alright, so you know the next one here is a 1920 Philadelphia Strike. Gotta get 20s, guys. 20s are like the, um, the booms of all the Buffalo Nickels. 1929 Philadelphia Strike. We already talked about these coins that are related to that coin. Now. Now, this one here has a Denver Mint. And now, let's see what it is. 
1936 D. Does this have three and a half legs? No, it doesn't. Ah, no, that would have that would have been valuable. All right, the three-legged one from 1937 would have been even more valuable. No, this is the same coin. So this is 1937 Philly here, same coin. All right, so see this one. 27, same coin, Philadelphia strike. So yes, yeah, so now we have a 35. I think I showed this. Yes, I did. Okay. I do know it did not have a mint mark, so that, that, that would be great. But it's a Philadelphia strike, so we got 1928 D. This is 1928 D here. Tomorrow is actually America's birthday, even though it's July 4th, but really it's July 2nd, so... But however, I'm gonna be recording July 4th, so yeah. 1925. Finally, we found a 1925. That's actually good. See, the date is very, very well preserved on this. Looks very nice. Got a 25. Now the next Buffalo nickel I own is a Philadelphia Mint coin. It's from 1934 with a worn-out date. This camera is so horrible. I swear, sometimes I just feel like, like, why am I recording with this? You know what, I'm just here to entertain you guys, because I I've been entertaining, I've been love. I've been wanting to entertain you guys for years, so. Now, this one has an S mint mark, it's a 29S. 29S. Okay, so this one here is a... 1930 Philadelphia, so that looks very nice. We're actually, like, halfway through, so, congrats. I probably will do this up to, like, 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Who who knows? All right, so, we got a 29. Looks awesome. If you open this up here. Yo. Has an S mint mark. It's great. I have a 28. Philadelphia, so I'm gonna put could set that there. Now the next one I have is a 1934 Buffalo nickel. Philadelphia. Now I have a 1936 Philadelphia. Have a 1928 S. This one I have is a 1936. This is... Oh, shit. Okay, now, see, this one has has no mint mark, so it's a Philadelphia Mint coin, which I already showed on one of them, so... 1928 Philadelphia Mint coin. Next one here is a 1924 Philadelphia Mint coin. Now, we're almost done here. Lucky me. Now we have a 1937 Philadelphia Strike, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's okay. 1937. Alright, so, now, we're up to them, I probably got the last 10 or something. We have a 1926 Philly here. <clears throat> Shit, here. 1924. Now, 1920, here we got a 1920 Philly. Now, next coin I own is a 1925 Philly, just a plain. Just your plain coin. There's nothing you can do here. You have a 1920 S. Now, 1928 Philadelphia minted coin. Next coin we have is a 1926 Philadelphia. Now we have a 1925 Philadelphia Mint coin. This one is a Philadelphia Mint in 1929. Nineteen twenty-nine. Now we have a awesome coin. Twenty-nine plain and we have 1925 Philly here. So now the coins that now the buffalo nickels I wanted to show you guys, they're really awesome. Now the first one I have is a rainbow toned. 1926 Buffalo Nickel. Yes, guys, I can actually see the date on this one, but this camera is so 
horribly horrible. So that's a Philadelphia mini coin. So now next one I have here is in 1937 in gold. Yes, gold. And it's a Philadelphia strike. Awesome. Now the last one I have here is a 1928 in glossy with the Denver Mint. Okay, now we're done with the Buffalo Nickels. These what we have here so far. Now we're going to come down here up and we're going to do the Jefferson Nickels from 1938 all the way down to 1961. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys my brilliant uncirculated 1946 gem Jefferson nickel. I know the camera's going to pick it up here, but this is a 1946, just a plain minted coin. Awesome. We're going to set that right here. Because, you know, the light from my room actually shines it very well. Now, th now, this here is very awesome because I love Jefferson. I love, I don't have any wartime nickels, so bear with me. Now, I have a 1953 Philadelphia. Very nice. Now, I have a 1956 Philadelphia. Awesome. I have a 1960 D. These are always common, even when you find them on coin rolls, you're just like, why are these so common? Yes, guys, this does have a friggin' mint mark, but the camera can't pick it up because it's so horrible. Yes, I stand corrected. So, we have 1940. It's the oldest Jefferson Nichols have the collection of 1940s. And it bears a Denver mint, mint mark. The next one I have here is a 1953S. This is one of the very first coins I started with when I started coin collecting. I can't thank this coin enough, so awesome coin. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, so 1949. 1949 Philly. Now, the next one here is 1950 Philly. I'm probably going to show it down here from now on because. The camera picks up from here, but not here. I have a 1946 Philadelphia minted coin. I have a 1940S. Yes, yeah, so now the next one I have is a 1957D. Awesome. I have a 1954S. Yes, guys, I own the 54S. I have a 1956 Denver. And a very excellent condition coin. It probably entered circulation for a short time. Who knows? Similar to this one. That we actually, show, actually showed you guys. I have a 1941S. So, yeah, we have 1958 D. 1948. Philly here. So, now the next coin is a 47 Philly. Awesome coin. Alright, so we have a 1952S. Wait, let me see it again. Yes, it's 1952S. So, 1952 Philly. Now, this, this one has a Denver mint mark. It's from 1952, so, we have 1952D. 1961 Denver. That looks great. 
1947. Um, it's an S, so that's great. I mean, 1947D in in a banged copper, disgusting condition. But it does leave some memories with this coin. I used to see it when I was younger. But I didn't take it until like three years later when I started doing this. Now, 1941. Plain? It's awesome. Now, then, now I have a few more coins, and then we can do book two. Now we have a 1959 Denver Mint. Awesome. Now we're up to the very last, so we're going to move this way. So now we have a 1961 Philadelphia. This is a 1940 plane. Now, I'm going to be doing a video um, tonight about... Now, I just want to tell you guys, it's been one year since I did YouTube. You know, I've been having a lot of problems recently. That's kind of why I've been a little bit pissed off. And, you know, you know, it's kind of more of, of talking about another time. But, yes, I am still stressed from a few days ago. And it's in, this is a 1957 plane. And the last Jefferson Nickel before we go to coin book here is that we're going to talk up is that we're going to see is in 1953 Denver Mint so yeah guys I've been having a lot of problems recently I mean, it, with you know with my family and all that, I mean with me and my relationship with with my friends and all that stuff so that kind of destroyed that's kind of why I'm a little bit pissed off so now as we now as we stay tuned we're going to take a look at this coin book here and then we're going to talk about the rest of these right here Let's stay tuned, because there's more to come. Okay, so this was probably to be quick, because I'm thinking I'm running out of storage. So yes, now we have a 2011 Philly. Now this one has the Monticello that we see earlier. Here's the reverse a little bit here. Now the next one I own is a 2007 Philly here. 2007 Philly. A 2006 Denver. Next one I own is a, here it is again, by the way. Now, the next one I own is a 2013 Philly. Next one I own is a 2014 Philly. Next one I own is a 2010 Denver. The next one I own is a 2008 Philly. Next one I have is a 2012 Denver. Now, these are the, these are like the last ones here. Oh, 2008 Denver, 2006 Philly. Oh, sorry about that. So um, now I'm back. I just uploaded part one to this video. So now the last two I own from this little mention set here is a 2000. And now, believe it or not, I actually own a, I own 2010. I never showed this. I actually had to redo part. Actually, had to redo this again. So. And I have a 2012 Philly. These are both Philadelphia striped coins. Now, I own a 2013S Jefferson Nickel in the little proof, proof um, sets here. And now, time for the um, grand finale. I own two Edward Jefferson Nickels from, from a very good amount of time. Now, the first one I have, now we're going to use this little magnifying glass, because this one requires magnifying glass, and both of them actually. Now, believe it or not, I own a 1980 Philadelphia strike coin, but this is just your regular coin. It's a off-centered, if you guys take a look at this edge right here, you see that the, um, that the edge, believe it or not, is, 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 is believe it or not, off-centered. If you guys take a look, closer look. See, look. And now the last one is one of the weirdest coins I've ever discovered. And it's this. This is a 1985 Philly, Phil, Philly Jefferson nickel. But look at the hell what happened to it. Now, you see here, look at all the letters. They're all, they're all differentiated by different sequences. See, this is where a coin once was here. And you see here, yeah, I know, the, the reflection sucks, but bear with me. 
and you see here that um now these here are are completely magnified here here let's take a look at this here looks very see there's also length for another coin took a look at the reverse look how look how good this is like the platchet's a little bit clipped off on the on the back looks good so yes that's the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, favorite, subscribe to my gaming channel, subscribe to the Squad Nintendo 5, subscribe to Ninja Dog Gamer 21 and Spidertron. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I, the next one I'll be doing is Sense. See you guys later in the next video.